For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this uh, problem that you have a ball head AD. This basically this uh, long piece of wood and it's subjected to both water and soil backfill pressures. Assuming AD is pinned to the ground at A, that means there's a pin right here. Determine the horizontal and vertical reactions there, of course, at A. And so let me draw the possible reactions A, Y, and A, X. And determine the required tension in the ground for BC necessary for equilibrium for basically this pin right here, this force right here. And the ball head has a mass of 800 kilograms, so it has a weight W. So first let's calculate the weight. It's the easiest thing to do. I always like to calculate the weights first. The weight is equal to the mass, which is 800 kilograms, times the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.81 meters per second square, and it gives you 7.848 kilonewtons. Easy. So we got one down. Now, I want to replace this uh, two distributed loads with uh, equivalent forces. So they're triangular distributed loads. So whenever you have a triangular distributed load, it's the same as having an equivalent force. I'm going to call this one force two. And the placement of that force is one third from the tall edge of that triangle. All right, so one third of six meters is two meters. And same thing for this one. An equivalent force, let's call it F1, and it's located at one third of that tri triangular uh, distributed load. The whole length is four, so one third of four is roughly 1.333 on top of my head. So now that I replace them with uh, equivalent forces, I gotta find this equivalent forces. So let's find them. What's F2 equal to? To find F2, all you gotta do is calculate the area of the triangle that it's uh, replacing, this long triangle on the right. So as you can see, the triangle has a length of 6.5 meters times the height of the triangle which is 310 kilonewtons per meter divided by 2 because the area of a triangle is height times length divided by 2 and that is equal to 1007.5 kilonewtons that's a lot of pressure now let's say, do the same thing with F3 same idea length of the triangle is 4 meters Height of the triangle is 118 kilonewtons per meter. And the area is calculated by dividing by 2. And that is equal to 236 kilonewtons. Still a lot of pressure, but not as much as the other one. So now that we have all our forces, we got F1, we got F2, um, we got the weight. We're, what we're missing is the force at the anchor at B and we're missing a y and a x three forces so we need three formulas obviously let's start with um let's start with some of the forces in the y is equal to zero it's the easiest one because you got the weight coming down which we already found plus a y is equal to zero so as you can see a y is equal to the weight which is going to make a y equal to 7.848 kilonewtons. 7.848 kilonewtons. Since we already found the weight before. So that's the first one. Let's find let's find this force F. To find this force F, it's easy to find. You do some of the forces. I'm sorry, actually, some of the moments at B. At A, sorry. Some of the moments at A is equal to zero. So we got the moment being created by F3. I'm calling this one F3. Actually, let's just call that one F, not to confuse anybody. And let's just start with F1. F1, this F1 right here, the moment is F1 times 4 meters divided by 3 because it's one third from A. So from here to here is 4 divided by 3, so it's 4 over 3 meters. So that's the moment being created by F1. 
f1 times 4 over 3 let's assume clockwise is positive that one is positive minus the moment b created by f2 which is f2 times the distance from a to right here to f2 which is one third of six actually one third of 6.5 don't forget this 0.5 over here because it's one third of this whole thing so it's 6.5 divided by 3 plus because this f creates a clockwise moment the distance from a all the way to b right here and that is 6 meters so it's f times 6 and all of that is equal to 0 we already found f1 and f2 we found them uh, here and here and I am sorry I said that this was f3 this is f1 okay so right here and right here so you plug them in for this two and you solve for f and you're gonna get that f is equal to 311.37 kilonewtons because that's that's what you should get and the last one is easy sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero so in the x we got ax going to the right plus f1 going to the right minus f2 going to the left plus f going to the right and that is equal to zero so we got ax going to the right f1 going to the right f going to the right and we got f2 going to the left so f2 is negative and we got f1 we got f2 we got f we found them all already all we need is ax and we're going to get that ax is equal to 460.13 kilonewtons final answer for AX, final answer for AY, and final answer for the force. I apologize for calling this one F3. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.